What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm a Pi Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and find my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. Um, I got a couple channel messages in, so I'm gonna go ahead and share those real quick. Um, the first one is I heard um someone who played a huge victim um is a huge threat to national security. They're about to get extremely heavy negative karma. That's what I heard. That's pretty that's pretty strong. Um national security? What the hell? National freaking security? That's like, I mean, I don't even know the agency that in the United States, which, you know, I know there's different nations and countries and things like that, but I don't even know the agency for the national security for United States. Let me look it up. I mean, I'm curious to know. But I heard they played victim. They played victim. But they're actually a huge national security threat, apparently. Oh, well, it's the NSA, National Security Agency, I'm assuming. Or the United States Intelligence Community. And then, you know, DOD, Department of Defense, and CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. So I guess it could be any of those. Um, any any of those. Um, you take it how it resonates. That is such a strong message. That is such a freaking strong message. Oh my God. National freaking security. What the hell? Okay, so I heard, um, I mean, I was in there watching other readings and then I got that message. And I'm serious. So, and it come in clear and strong big booty over here so um yeah so i heard um someone who once played victim um is a huge threat to national security that is what i heard and very heavy negative karma is coming so uh very heavy negative karma is coming to this person but apparently they played victim um to national security is what I'm presuming. Um, because I heard they played victim to national security, but now um and they're a threat to national security. They play they once played victim and they're a threat, and now they're a threat to national security. So I think and for some they played victim to national security. Um, you know, I was pulling in some uh I've heard I mean, remember a few months ago I was pulling in somebody that basically played victim to get put under the witness protection program, but they were actually, um, they actually knew a lot more than they were telling the agents and the people that put him, put him under the witness protection program. Um, and they were like, they had like witness deaths and things like that. Um, but they didn't tell the people that, you know, helped put them under the witness protection program. So for some, it could be, it could be that person. Um, this is serious shit. I mean, this is serious, serious, serious shit. I mean, for real, for real, for real. This is not anything to be messing around with. It truly is not, but this is for somebody. So the national security agencies that I just Googled per United States. Now, of course, different countries are different for different areas. NSA, National Security Agency, U.S. Intelligence Community, DOD, United States Department of Defense, CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. So I'm presuming it could be any of those. It could be any of those um, for whoever this is resonating with. But they apparently played victim in the past, so I'm thinking they, oh, I think it's about to start storming. I think they, um, for some, it could be the person that was playing victim that knew about deaths but kept their mouth shut to get into the witness protection program. I was pulling that person in like two or three months ago-ish. So um, for some, I strongly feel it could be the energy of that. You take it out, resonates. This is strong. This is so freaking strong. Holy crap-a-moly. 
spare messages you have those like this. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, free general reading for the uh, collective. Cap suicide. Everybody in between. It's very important to know. It is a free general reading. Only take the messages that resonate with you. But there, I heard they're a threat to national security. My good God. Spirit messages you have for collective. That's strong. That is so strong. And I heard very negative karma is coming for them. And um, if they're a threat to national security, I, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, oh, it's holy moly. You guys, that popped up in a New York hot minute. I came in here, it was sunny in Philadelphia, which we're in Huntsville, Alabama. But, you know, like sunny in Philadelphia. Now it's freaking raining and it's got dark Care Bear clouds outside. Dear God Almighty. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty crazy. That is so crazy. But you know, of course, you know, I know some of you guys live in different countries. I know I spoke with chatted with some of you guys today um, in different countries. So, I mean, whatever country and agency that is for you, uh, you know, you take it how it resonates. That's strong. That is so strong. Someone is having a super, super, super huge wake-up call to this. Super huge. Eyes wide open. Oh, my God. This is so strong. Oh, my God. I heard someone is having a, a super huge um, wake-up call to this. Super, super huge. And I just got out the freaking... Um, Look what I'm getting out here. Holy crap. Um, how, so many have faith, high honor. Spirit messages you have. This, this energy is strong. But somebody's waking up to the fact. I think it might have been somebody that was in. Um, wow. I think it might have been somebody that was in um, the witness, uh, pr witness protection program. Because of her national security threat. Um. That's not little. I mean, that's not little. That's not little at all. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm sorry, but I mean, that deserves that. Because Jesus Christ. Okay, you guys. Uh, let me show you. Look outside. And this is confirmation, man. It was sunny as hell when I started this reading. Sunny. It was sunshine on a sunshiny day. Look at this bitch now. If we're getting confirmation from the goddamn weather. Hold on a second. And my cat's laying in my lap and he never does that. Look at that. And he's been very, very clingy to me recently. Very clingy, actually. Okay, let me show you outside. If you can see it. You see that? It's pouring out there right now. Pouring. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. I can see it out there. Come on. Come on, baby. You either go, get behind or come in. Come on. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh. I just wanted to show. I mean, that's confirmation if I've ever seen it. My animals have been acting a lot different lately. I know there's a huge lion, Lionsgate portal energy shift coming. 8-8. Um, eight, eight. August 8th, for anybody who doesn't know that, huge energy shift, energy shift coming in the collective period, huge. Um, it's called the Lionsgate Portal, for those of you that don't know. Um, and that is just, a, look, it's calm now. Holy freaking A, that was such confirmation. Oh my fucking God. Look, now it is calm as a butterfly out there. Well, butterflies aren't really calm. Calm as whatever could be calm. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. It's it's it completely just quit raining. I mean, it's wet as hell out there because it was coming down like a crazy freaking gale, um, gale storm there for a minute. But it is not raining. Well, sprinkling. It's sprinkling. It's sprinkling now. But it was like gushing. And now it's like, eh, eh, eh. oh my fucking God. Holy 
God am I? Okay, yeah. So, um, wow. Th this is a, this is that is confirmation if I've ever seen it. This is something. Somebody doesn't want me to get this out. Obviously, somebody doesn't. But we're doing it. We are doing it. We are doing it. Um, come on, baby. So someone, um, come on, fat boy, come on. Okay, let me focus back. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I have chill bumps. I have I have goosebumps, chill bumps, whatever you call them. Goosebumps, chill bumps, whatever. I I have them right now. Ooh. You you fuck with national security. I mean, that's like treason to your country. That is treason to your freaking country when you fuck with national security. I mean, I'm serious. I don't know how what else to call that. Um, so and I mean I'm serious. Okay, so someone, um, we'll go over it one more time, then we'll go over this, uh, the energy down here. <sighs> barely, barely, barely sprinkling now. Barely. I mean, obviously that's significant to this. I'm serious. Barely. It's like it just came out of the damn um, sky just for confirmation. I'm serious. I mean, God works in mysterious ways, just saying, just saying. Oh, man. Okay, so um, someone apparently is realizing someone that once played, I heard a huge victim. So a, a huge victim. I'm thinking for some of these people that played huge victim, now they could have played huge victim to you, if this resonates with you. They could have played huge victim to you, or you could have been the huge victim that you played to national freaking security um but you plug it in how it fits i mean just saying so uh because energy is going to be reversed so whew. so someone played victim whether it was to you they played victim or you're the one that played the victim basically um in the past but a huge victim um but now and i think to an agency of a country um one of those agencies i think to one of those agencies um, but now they're realizing this agency is realizing that this person is a huge national national security threat or they was in the past. They either are now or they was in the past. You take it how it resonates. Um, a national freaking security. So, so a spy, they could either be a, a ooh, oh, I wonder if there's a damn spy in because there was somebody I was pulling in. Remember, I was pulling in that person a few months ago um, that uh, was in the witness protection program, but they shouldn't have been in there because the, um, they were part of the Secret Seven. And basically, the death started occurring when the black magic got uh, splayed out from the single mom Leo's house. But they played victim and one of them got put in um, witness protection program, but they shouldn't have been in there. But they had witnessed a death and um they were keeping the mouth shut about it they were keeping 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 their mouth shut about it oh my god so it's either a spy it's either a spy that's in an agency it's either a spy that's in an agency like a roll molar rat or a um um um, mm, like a mole or a rat or a um, person that is in the witness protection program and they shouldn't be i.e. mole or rat um, oh my god Ooh. soulmate upright have faith upright 25 upright tw uh, I'm sorry soulmate upright have faith upright high honor upright house upright oh my god I am getting such goosebumps you just have no idea i mean we got confirmation all the way around this is strong strongest reading i've ever done i mean confirmations for the from the universe and i mean i'm getting goosebumps i never freaking get goosebumps ever um but um but yeah and but somebody i think you're waking up 
and you're realizing this, I heard a huge wake up call. So you're having a huge, huge, huge ass wake up call um, if this resonates with you. And you're realizing that person's a huge ass threat to national security. So whether they're in a, the witness protection program right now, or they are a mole or a rat in some kind of agency, governmental agency, um, um, and or they um, have committed treason in some type of way, but a huge freaking national security threat. Um, but you're having a huge ass wake up call now. That's for sure, for sure. Dear God Almighty. Like I said, number 14, 22, 25, or 20 might be very significant. 14, 22, 25, or 20. Maybe somebody has alerted you to this. I didn't hear that part, but maybe someone has alerted you to this, that they're a huge, um, maybe, you know, you've been getting many phone calls of um, somebody warning you about this, possibly. I mean, I'm not sure. You, you take it how it resonates. Soulmate, have faith, high honor house. Several people were were a huge, huge threat to national security. Several people. One person initiated and several people followed. Okay. I heard one, one person initiated and several people followed. So several people, a threat to um, national security, apparently. But one person initiated this huge threat to national security, apparently. Um, and um, so huge um, privacy leak. I wonder if this has to um, do with the Secret 7. I wonder if it does. I didn't hear Secret 7 in here, but I wonder if it does. I mean, I'm serious. Because the community knows. The, I mean, like, it, everybody knows the damn truth. Everybody knows the truth now. Everybody freaking knows the truth. Basically, a poor mother and her children got unnecessarily bullied and harassed and exploited and abused. Like, extremely unnecessarily being done to. I mean, just for real, for real. That was the hugest freaking privacy leak I've ever, I mean, I've ever known in my 37 years, I'll tell you that. Um, and it was all over selfishness and greed. You know, now those people, the four members of Secret Seven, now they're experiencing extreme financial hardships. They, a lot of them have gotten fired. Some of them are in foreclosures. I mean, horrible financial hardships, all because they were basically manifesting crazy dark arts for people to be lured into the house but what they didn't realize is that was actually a really or they probably did realize but that mom and her kids she was a damn soldier and she fought really hard she fought really really hard to um, keep her stability and her independence and fought hard for herself and her kids and and but that she earned the respect of her viewers basically um even though she didn't want viewers um she earned the respect of them um, because they saw her struggle, um, if anybody wants to update on that, but, um, but yeah, I mean, dear God, that's, um, that, that's crazy, but one of the members, core members of the Secret Seven, played victim during all this bullshit, of course, everything's dying down now, and, um, uh, you know, the camera's out of that single mom's home, and everybody's healing now, um, that's kind of where we're all the process with that, but it went on for such a long time, because nobody would tell that single mom the damn camera was in her home because they didn't want her suing. Um, but it left people in stagnation, basically. Because uh, some were addicted, had like sex addictions, and some were just nosy as fuck, and some just didn't want to be involved. Um, but it left that mom in extreme harm's way. But during all that shit, when all that was going on before the community finally shut it down, um, one of the core members of the Secret Seven played huge victim and basically was saying the single mom Leo was coming after her um, and um, witness protection program. I, I think I heard witness protection program in there several times. So 
from what I, because death started occurring and all that shit because they were drawing black magic in there because they were initially very jealous of her because uh, they wanted to be the one on the camera and be the star and blah, yada, 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 but they wasn't, but they were making tons of money off of, of, the, of the star, kind of like a Britney Spears entrapment thing, to be honest. I mean, it really does sound kind of like a Britney Spears entrapment thing. Um, of course, now Britney Spears is getting out of that shit now. Thank, thank lucky stars. But similar S, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Similar S. And it's really sad. But th they were banking so much money off her. But they played victim. Oh, she's going to attack me. Oh, she's going to come after me. Oh, help, help, help. So one of the core members of the Secret Seven... Um, from what I gather from the readings, of course, it's been months. It's been months. You'll have to go back and check. But I think like two or three months-ish ago, I thought I heard Witness Protection Program for one of the members, I think. It might have been a Secret 7 reading or, or not. You'll have to go back and check. But there definitely, if it wasn't a core member of the Secret 7, it was definitely someone playing victim that was in a Witness Protection Program that shouldn't have been. Um, for real, for real. That, I mean, that's the truth, whether it was Secret 7 or not. Um, so, you know, and I didn't hear Secret 7 in here, so you have to plan your life out fits. Um, this might not be Secret 7. It may be. I don't know. But, um, holy good God. All right. Man, let's keep going. Soulmate, have faith. Someone has had a huge, huge, huge wake-up call to this. Huge, huge, huge. Completely sees things completely differently now because the real truth is out. And it's going to continue to be out. Okay, I heard someone's having a huge, huge, huge wake-up call to this. Um, they're basically um, are seeing the real truth. They're th seeing the real, real truth now. So the real truth of things, I heard now that the truth is really, really out. So the tr truth is out, out, out. Whether we're talking about Secret 7 or not, it's out, out, out. Um, it, could be, it could be about the person being the huge threat to national security that played victim. I mean, you take it how it resonates. Um, or just some other kind of truth. But, but they're having a huge ass wake up call and they're realizing that um, because whoever this is for, if this is for you, you saw things in a completely different perspective um, previous. Completely different. Completely, completely, completely different. So the person that was playing victim to you, if this resonates for you, you didn't see them as a threat to national security. You didn't see huge implications, I guess, um, to what they were doing. Because whatever they were doing, whether it was Secret 7 activity or not, it was huge. It was horrible activity, but yet they played victim to you, so you felt sorry for them, basically. Um, but now you're seeing completely, completely different. It's like your rose-colored lenses have been taken off. And now you really, really see. You truly, truly freaking see, if that makes sense. You see it clearly. Um, and that's, that's good. So let me see. So we have soulmate upright, have faith upright. Lots of soulmate. This person has had such a huge wake up call about the situation. They're about to send lots of soulmate energy in. Really? Have faith. It is coming. Okay. I heard someone has had such a huge wake-up call about this that basically they're about to, um, so they, they're seeing things clearly now. So if it's for you, you're seeing things very, very clearly now. Um, like I said, you didn't in the past, but you do now. Very, very, very clearly, apparently. Um, but um, but I heard you're having such a huge wake-up call. You're about to send um, lots of soulmate energy in. Um, and basically, um, for that person or people or group or family or situation, however that resonates, to basically have faith that the soulmate energy will come in. So, um, I think whoever I'm speaking to here, I think you work 
for a government governmental agency. I absolutely do think you do. I think you do. Um, I, I, I mean, I do. I didn't hear that part, but I think you do. Now, whatever agency you work for, I don't know. It could be one of these. I, I think it's a national security agency. Man, this is strong. I think it's either the NSA, the uh, United U.S. Well, if we're talking about United States. Now, of course, you know, I live in the United States, you guys. I know some of you guys live in different countries. So, you have to take whatever national security agencies that resonate in your country if this resonates with you. But I live in the United States, so I'll just say the United States ones. Um, if, this part, if this resonates for you and you're in the United States, I guess I should say. Um, the ones for the United States are uh, NSA, National Security Agency, United States Intelligence Community, um, DOD, Department of Defense, NCIA, Central Intelligence Agency. Um, but um, yeah, I think you do. I think you do. Holy freaking hell, I think you do. Man. Um, but I heard, uh, basically, if this is for you, you are, you're totally waking up to this. You're totally, 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 was completely bamboozled, completely. Sex magic. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Art was completely bamboozled, completely sex magic, is what I just heard. And confusion magic. This person and several of these people really, really dabble very heavy in the dark arts. Someone needs to hear this. Okay? So if this resonates with you, the one that was basically the, we'll pull over your eyes now, you don't have to work for an agency, or you could just be a, a you could be a community action member. You don't have to be somebody that works for the agency, uh, an agency. You could be Sally Joe that lives down the street, for all I know. I mean, you take it how it resonates. I mean, you know, everybody has personal power within themselves. But this is strong. This is strong. And I'm serious. This is strong. So whether you work in a governmental agency or you are Sally Joe down the street, you you take it how it resonates, okay? Because um, this affects a lot. This affects a lot of people. A lot, a lot, a lot of people. Um, a lot. Um, and if we're talking about Secret Seven, it did. It affected way more people than the core members of Secret Seven wanted other people to admit, basically. Because they didn't want to scare other people to let them know the reach. But it but it was. It was. It was so bad it, it expanded to other countries. Um, I think I heard in one of the readings. You'll have to go back and check, but I, I think. Um, it was getting bad. It was getting bad, bad, bad. But see, they they wasn't they were very careless. They were very, very careless, very irresponsible and very careless. And I, I mean, not only with that poor mother, obviously very irresponsible and careless for her, but with others. I mean, they just, it, it was very poorly planned, very irrationally done, had, I mean, everybody and their mama up in there. There was no contracts. I mean, it was, well, the single mom Leo didn't sign a contract, um, but maybe the other ones did, but they didn't. Ha I mean, they basically were feeding money out of somebody's house and she didn't get a damn dime. And um, so they stole from her and stole her energy and her time. But now they're money laundering the, the money. That's the current energy right now. Right now, they're currently money, la money laundering that money. Um the 10 members, four members, um, because the camera's been shut down. So that is the current energy there. They're money laundering in. Um, but I heard you were completely bamboozled. Whether you're Sally Joe down the street or you are a member of the agency that's having a huge wake-up call about, well, you know, you could be Sally Joe down the street or a member of the agency that has that had a huge wake-up call about um, them being a huge threat to national security, basically. Um, you take it out, it resonates. But um, they did. Um, I heard sex magic and confusion spells. So at least two. And I heard many members of the group. So it could be the core members of the Secret Seven or not. You take it out, resonates with some kind of group. Um, many of them are into dark arts. Um, so i.e. the sex magic and the um, confusion spells. Because like this is light magic, light arts. Like I got my gifts April of 2020. I didn't ask for the gifts. Spirit World just gave me the gifts. Um, but I was going through a very, very, very crazy chaotic time, 
chaotic time in my life. Very, very chaotic. And I wasn't doing it to myself. Um, I'm serious. I've always been wonderful with money, wonderful with money. And I've always been there for my kids and provided for my kids and been a stable, dependable, reliable source for them. Always, always. It was somebody else creating damn confusion in my life. I mean, just serious um, outside of the, you know, outside of my home. But now all that shit's died down. Like it's all died down now. But my point is th that is light side. When I gained the abilities from the spirit world, that is light side. In fact, it kind of freaked me out because um, it freaked me the hell out. I mean, it did big time. I was like, oh, my, because I'm a nurse. I'm an RN. I've been an RN since 13, 2013 in the state of Alabama. So, um, so I was like, oh my God, am I getting mental health issues? Like what's going on? But I would only hear them like over here. So, and it was very faint at first. It was very faint and not very many. Um, now it's gotten a lot stronger, but I'm able to really well control them. Very, very, very well control them. Um, so, you know, and they've actually benefited my life very much greatly, but my point is, is, um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, they, they benefited my life. They benefited my life and it was light side. Like I, I, I explained the story many times in here over the, um, God, I've been on here. What? Well, 13, 14, hold on, May, June, July. I've been on here uh, 15 months now on YouTube, 15 months. And I've explained it many times. Um, about um my story and um and that's just the truth but dark arts dark arts are different sex magic confusion spells um voodoo shiznit um oh my god all kind i mean there's many there's many 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 things that people do on the dark side uh incubus and succubus um energies um that's all on the dark side but the thing is is black magic always backfires it always backfires either a little bit or a lot and that's the truth um either a little bit or a lot um and um right now the cur come on buddy see i'm getting confirmation from him he's been quiet all freaking day all freaking day long come on fat boy um but um but what I was going to say is black magic always backfires, either a little bit or a lot. And right now, the current energy space for some of those people in the Secret Seven is they have they experienced a lot of job losses, just like they created for that single mom, Leo, because she got fired three times in a year when all that bullshit was going on. Three wrongful terminations in her, in her life in a year. Um, created a chaos and ruckus for her city, her community, herself, her kids. Um didn't try to help the situation any just they were happy because they were gaining so much money off of her um and they had a damn camera planted in her home and god knows what else they were doing so i mean they were happy because they were baking it but now they don't have access like that anymore they don't have access like that anymore and so now um they it's like karma's turning around on them in a negative way um and they're experiencing you know foreclosures and financial issues now she was very smart very she's very she's always been very very good with money single mom leo very very good she hasn't always had a lot of money but she's made well and do with what she's had if that makes sense she doesn't she's not one that goes out and just blows her money till the sun comes up those core members of the secret seven all the one thing all the core members of the secret seven had in common was that extremely greedy and selfish energy to like just spending money till the cows damn come home and so when they um they knew she didn't know at first when all that shit was going down um they did they started buying all these expensive ass all the expensive ass shit and just going and get luxury shit and and spending the money till the cows come home and yada 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 and putting it up in offshore shore accounts and all kinds of crazy shit but now, now so much has changed with that, that they can't, that they can't. So it's created mental health issues in them. And um, now some of them want to come back to single mom Leo because they, they knew 
Um, she was very grounded, single, reliable, and dependable. But she got such a huge awakening, a wake-up call on herself. She, I'm sure she ain't accepting any of those bitches back from the past. I wouldn't. Just saying. Um, I definitely wouldn't. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. Come on. I keep blabbing on. We're at 35 minutes. Come on. This is apparently very serious. He has been quiet all freaking day long. All day long, you guys. Come on, fat boy. What is it? Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, wait. I'll, I'll keep going. My God. Maybe it's saying keep going, Mary. I don't know. Man. I just, um, I was just trying to give you a little update in case this resonates with the Secret 7. It, it very well could. Um, you have to plug in your life how it fits wherever you fit in this situation, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Whether it's Secret 7 or not. But it's serious. It's definitely hugely serious. I'll tell you that. Threat to freaking national security. And it's several people involved in this. And so, you know, like a group S type thing. So that's what makes me think Secret 7. High Honor Upright, House Upright. I heard basically um, that you're waking up to this. So you're having a huge wake up call. You're waking up to this and you're going to send basically lots of help in soon. Lots and lots of help. And basically um, maybe somebody called for some help or they're about to call for some help um, or you're the one that has called for help. Um, you plug it in your life how it fits. But basically I heard um, you're going to get help. You're going to get people come in and really, really help with this situation. Um, and basically have faith that it will happen. So you plug in your life how it fits, whether you're the one that's going to come help the situation or the one that's calling um, to, to help the single mom Leo or the community or whatever, um, or the one that, um, yeah, whether you're, yeah, whether you're the one calling to get the help or the one coming to help, um, you take it out resonate. But I heard have faith, have faith that it's going to happen. High honor. Take them together is what I heard, take them together. High honor, high honor is coming. Finally to the one and ones that deserve it. No more confusion. It's crystal clear now. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Holy crap. I heard high honor is coming to the ones that deserve it. No more confusion anymore. Um, that there's no more confusion anymore. So basically help is on the way. Help is on the way. Um, if we're talking about Secret 7 situation, you know, man, that big boot went on for like freaking two years. I'm serious. For like two freaking years. And um, the sad part is with that single mom, Leo, she went through enough shit. Um, enough shit. She tried to sue <laughs> like two years previous to that and she got shut down. Uh, couldn't even go in and sue anybody um, because um, of several reasons why she wanted to sue which um were employment related to a place that um she had worked and then after that she got such heavy negative karma and then she got fired three times after that after quitting that place that she wanted to sue basically uh, or and a person she wanted to sue in there an employee but i think that's why somebody planted a camera in her home because they knew she was going to do that. And they didn't want her to be rich, basically. They didn't want her to be rich. They didn't want her to be successful because they knew she had a case. So they um, planted the shit in her home. And then started acting like damn fools. Um, and making money off of her. Um, which is sickening. It's really sickening. But um, basically, um, I heard um, high honors coming for the one ones that deserve it. Um, seeing much more clearly now. So high honor, upright, house upright. So this makes me think Secret 7 all freaking day long. Um, because, you know, single mom Leo's house. There was a camera in the house. Security breach in the house. Um, but you plug it in your life how it fits. If you don't, you know, if you wasn't a feeder through the camera of the Secret 7. Or you, um, 
or you um, was not connected to the Secret 7 in any type of way. But if you were, you, you of course, you can plug it in how it fits. Um, how it fits. But we have House Upright, High Honor Upright, number 20 and number 25. Might be very significant. Very long overdue, but it's coming. Help is definitely coming. Okay. I heard very long overdue, but help is definitely coming. Help is definitely coming. And lots and lots and lots and lots of assistance. Lots. Okay. I heard lots and lots and lots of assistance. Lots. Financial and other ways. Someone realizes the definite error of their ways now. Oh, wow. Okay, so I heard help is definitely on their way, uh, on the way, and lots and lots and lots of it, basically. Um, this is beautiful. And I heard lots of assistance is coming, um, financial and other ways. Someone really, really realizes the error of their ways. So that's beautiful. That should be like a freaking poem. I'm just saying. That that truly is beautiful. So we have house upright, high honor upright. Um, that's beautiful. And you know, we're in middle Leo season right now. I'm just saying, um, Leo gang, just saying, if any of you guys are Leos. We're in the middle of Leo season. Like today's my son's birthday. Today is, and tomorrow's my birthday. And um Leo season, I say that because Leo season is a be it's a beautiful all the seasons are great and they're all special, all the zodiac signs and um energy shifts and um seasons are all beautiful in my opinion they all are but i have a special affinity for leo season because i'm a leo son um and i understand understand is you know leo season is a time of giving happiness um giving and happiness and um fun giving happiness and fun which is what most leos portray usually except when you get the single mom Leo gets beat down to a motherfucking pulp and she feels like she can't do anything or she ain't financially able to do anything because people beat her down to a motherfucking pulp. So on normal instances, you know, I'm sure she's a Leo son. I'm sure she understands, but it's happiness. It's fun. It's celebration. It's joy. It's enjoying life. Leo season is. It is. And it's right in the freaking middle of summer for most people. Um, and it's it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful season. It really, really is. Um, but I heard lots of help is on the way. Lots and lots and lots of it. Somebody really sees the error of their way. So they truly, truly do. I think it's you or somebody else. You take it out. Resonates. And basically, um, I think one of you guys is about to, to contact this person or you're the one that's about to come in and help. You take it how it resonates, but holy crap, this this is great. This is really, really great. It really is. I heard lots of assistance. So, you know, I'm sure, hopefully it's whatever the single mom Leo needs or somebody else needs regarding helping the single mom Leo and her children. Because now, you know, now she's having such horrible issues um, with her ex-husband um, and it's created other negative issues for her that she didn't have previous. All because people decided to nose into her damn business and get involved and put their two cents in and put their negativity and their drama in, basically. Um, and I mean, and that's just the truth, for real, for real. So it created a whole bunch of problems that wasn't there previous. All because people wasn't healed and they were very low vibrational and decided to feed through that damn camera and didn't want to tell nobody. And I mean, and that's the truth. But now those people have healed or are healing. And they're doing better in life, but now single poor single mom Leo has been so beat down so damn much that she is not near the way she should uh, should be in life because people basically decide to step on her ass to get to where they are, basically. Um, but it sounds like now somebody is uh, waking up to this and they're going to come help her in a huge way. I heard many, many, um, I think maybe one of you guys works for an agency or you're about to call an agency uh, because it's some kind of national security threat. It's one of, I think it's at least one. Um, I didn't hear a secret seven here. I'm just kind of equating it to, but, um, but somebody in here was a huge threat to, uh, uh, I heard one and then several people was huge threat to national security. So I think we're talking about the core members of secret seven. 
I really, really do. I didn't specifically hear that, but I do. I do. Um, you take it out resonates. They did. They created a hot mess express times a thousand. If anybody needs to hear that. And you know, we got confirmation all in this reading. All in this reading. All in this reading. You really, really did. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.